Okay, so for this video, Polar Pro have kindly sent me some brand new Mavic 3 filters. Ooh, look at that. Can you see it right there? Nine filters for your creativity in the air. So this nine filter kit is called the Director's Kit. Makes me feel like my ability is much better than it actually is. But the Director's Kit comes with three ND slash polarizers, two variable NDs, one circular polarizer, and an FX kit combining three special filters that give you special effects, which I'll show you right now. Okay, there we go. So now we have got the gold morphic filter on the front, if you can see right there. Now the idea with this is that it'll give you some of that anamorphic look with the light flares. Yes, many are suckers for that anamorphic flare look. There are plenty of affordable lenses for that, but as you can't irreversibly remove the lens of the Mavic 3 easily, having a filter like this is your best way of getting it for your drone footage. So the gold morphic filter will give you a sort of gold light flare, whereas the blue morphic one will give you a blue one, obviously. Right, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Now when you pick filters up from the box, there's quite a different feel to the ones that you've got as standard on the Maverick 3. It's an all metal frame, aluminium in fact, to keep it nice and light. Anyway, let's get some of this golden flare. Right, not a very sunny day. Hoping, hoping for a tiny little bit of light now. Personally, I'll go for the gold morphic. It'd be quite nice with the sun like, like this. The interesting thing with the gold morphic and the blue morphic is that they've got like these lines on the filter. I guess that's what helps make this effect. Here we go, oh yes, it's flaring. And it works, but you do need to make sure you use the right settings to get the best out of it, otherwise you end up with stripey images, which becomes apparent when you use smaller apertures. Open it up towards the maximum aperture and the stripes will disappear, leaving you a nice, long, streaky, uninterrupted light flare. Think of it this way, if you've got stuff on your lens, you won't see it in your images with a large aperture, stop it down to a small aperture and you'll see whatever smingy stuff is on your lens and sensor. Overexposing it might make it less apparent, but it's still visible at small apertures. Right, now from a gold anamorphic look to the blue one. Okay, so this is the blue filter. It looks a little bit cooler. I'll try switching on the lights from my car. I'd choose blue morphic for artificial lights, gold morphic for sun and flames, although you can't see too much flare from the headlights in broad daylight. No, uh, you can't really see it. I think it's because the sky is too bright at the minute. It's overpowering the car lights. It's not all about the anamorphics though, there's a mist filter too. Now, as I mentioned before, this is the director's kit, which comes with everything. But you don't have to go for the full Monty, you can also go for the full cinema kit, which comes with variable ND 2 to 5, variable ND 6 to 9, variable ND 2 to 5 mist, um, variable ND 2 to 5 blue morphic, variable ND 2 to 5 gold morphic. All the case. There's options, it's not all about the effects filters, it all depends if you really want to use them, but ND filters are a must have to bring down exposure on a bright sunny day, and why not go for a variable ND? So yeah, variable NDs, very useful for bringing down the exposure on bright sunny days, so you can have that 180 degree shutter. Now you're probably wondering why variable NDs won't, well, because it's variable, you can change the setting of NDness instead of carrying a whole box of different ND filters, like the ones I got last time. Because Lock will just drop them. It's not very cool. Oh! oh. <laughs> Sorry! Oh no! <laughs> ND8. Scratched ND8. I don't have a problem dropping stuff, of course. Never dropped a Mavic ND filter before. Truth. It's much more convenient to take two variable NDs instead of four fixed ones. Saves the faff of figuring out which one you need to use. Anyway, with variable NDs, it's very important that you got the best glass. Apparently, this is Cinema Series glass. Trademark, they've trademarked that. Don't know what that means, but it's got a low refractive index. Color neutrality. So it should be minimum color cast. And it's made in Germany, as I mentioned before. German made glass, yeah. And the circuit polarizer, it's for filming things like water to cut out reflections. Then you've got the ND filters slash polarizers, which combines ND-ness and polarizer-ness to cut out reflections and to bring down the exposure. 
ND8, ND16, ND32. So there we have it. The anamorphic is a pretty popular look now, especially now you can buy anamorphic lenses that don't cost an arm and leg. And now you can get a filter to match your drone footage by giving it that anamorphic look with that light flare and combine it with your other anamorphic footage.